It's game one of a five-match end-of-year tour coming to you from FedEx Field in the nation's capital. I'm Tony Johnson alongside me, Tena Kōrua, Carl Tenana and Justin Marshall. So the 2021 All Black End of Year Tour has started in Washington DC for the first time. And the All Blacks looking to use the ball early through Damian McKenzie. Gets a nice ball away to George Bridge on the outside. Finley Christie with him in support. Jacobson! And what a start! 29 seconds on the clock and the All Blacks are in from the kickoff. Oh, blockbusting start. Perfection as well off the kickoff. Little stutter step on gets on the, the outside of Campbell. The left hand out the back door. Bridge makes a good decision. Back on the inside. Christie is every good halfback backing up. Jacobson needs to show some toe head. Will Jordan there didn't need him. Ha <laughs> ha KT man. This is ominous signs already. Angus Taaval. Leaning. Yes. Number one leaning. And Harmon. It was free kick. The All Blacks have wasted no time setting the ball in motion. Will Jordan turns it on the inside. Quintu Pyre accelerating. Chopped down just short. That's a good tackle by Augsburger. The halfback, but they've got them well stretched. Vai floating a pass away. And over they go. And Ethan de Groot. The Southland is in. <laughs> and the stag's up big time. The loose head prop ranging out wide, a scintillating breakout again from the All Blacks. Will Jordan a handful, it's the offloads and the tackles that's really hurting the USA at the moment. They are there to make tackles, you can see, but it's the offloads that are killing them. Advantage and they've rolling. got an advantage here. Moonga quickly on. Through the hands to Jordan, the chip Benny kick ahead. Driver. Now the searing pace of Will Jordan waits for it. Oh, picks it up beautifully, and he's in. Man, can this kid score some tries? Tenth oh, test start, and that's his thirteenth try. He has all the skills, and once again, the fracture is in the outside. The wingers are getting on the outside of their opposites, and the minute that they do that, they've just got too much skill. He's on the outside of his opposite. That leaves Hooley to try and shut him down. Ta'aval, not sure Moonga was waiting for that, but his dancing feet make a bit of space for him. Now they go through the hands to Hoskins. Satutu breaks one off. He's got two player with him. Damian McKenzie is there, and he's in. Well, every time... They launch an attack from deep. They go the distance. Well, and they did the mahi there as well. They had to work a little bit harder for this, but the ball retention was good. I like the skill set from Tupu Vai in the midfield. He's handling well, he's distributing, he's also carrying, bringing in defenders. And then when they finally decide to shift it once again, the line break, the offload and the tackle, Huli had to take Sotutu. Nice from Tupaya. No, you're off your feet now. Well done. McKenzie in at first yep, receiver. Vai looking for a short pass, Offside. and he did manage to smuggle it away nicely too to Quintu Paya. Moonga. All Blacks building once more. Jacobson brushing them off. That's too easy. He's in again. Oh, that's the pattern as well. Mentioned it earlier. It was Tupaya off the scrum. They've used it frequently when he's involved. From there, they get Two into their work, forwards carrying, yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just backs involved. Back. Once again, lightning quick to the breakdown to clear it Two. is Finley Christie. Advantage. And Two an advantage, offside. force it offside. Little chip ahead from Moonga. Falls oh, into the hands of Jordan. Richie Moonga, the step, losing his footing. But all oh. pressing them off and he's in. Richie Moonga. Hang about. I think I've spoken about some magic footwork of Ritu Moanga before, but there was nearly some comedy in the way that he was able to bounce to a knee, get back up, half stutter, nearly fall over. That's another offside. Well, the All Blacks now, good attacking scrum. Christie runs, plenty of options. Jordan! He gets his second. 8-9. Transition runners behind them to McKenzie. He's behind as well. 
And from there on in, the pass to Will Jordan is simplistic. The finish is still quality. And he keeps racking them up, this kid. And again, just a little bit of footwork just as he bounced that on that pass from Damian McKenzie. And little micro skills once again from the All Blacks has been highlighted so much yeah, okay. in this match for me. In this... Whitelock wins it. And not allowing the US any time at all to set it line out. To play a lovely ball away. Here's Jordan again. He's just all over the place. Christie, he's got Tarval with him. And Big Angus is in. <laughs> Oh, they're having a field day. The loose head first, and now the tight head, Angus Ta'ovol. Again, just a tempo from the All Blacks. They didn't mess around. Always hold that. Now Moonga. And again, Quinn trying backwards. their pass over the top. It's been picked up. And in goes Quinn Tupaya, his first try for the All Blacks. Oh, he sort of used this angle. awkward motion, like you said, Marshall, to just get over the defender rushing up. You're not going to see anything from hey, that. To me, that's not clear and obvious. I'm staying with my on-field decision. Okay. I just don't think they were able to come up with any sort of angle to show whether or not it had gone forward out of the hands. Papali'i there driving them back with force. Augsburg oh, has gone right yeah. through the middle of them. Nate Augsburg and the step. Oh, this is a moment of history. This is the first try ever scored by Team USA against the All Blacks. Uh, and it came through a bit of a calamity, really, defensively from the All Blacks. I'm not sure whether Angus Gardner got in the way or one of the All Black players pushed each other. But when it came back for Augsburg, it, it left a gaping big hole because a defender was compromised. One or two defenders were compromised. He accelerated through the gap, still had some work to do. Nate Augsburger, who has played in the past as a winger, you can see why with that speed, but he gets a try that will gladden their hearts as they go to the halftime break at 59 to 7. And what can they do to tighten up their defence and make a little bit more of what ball they do get? Kicking it to Damian McKenzie. Might not be the ideal way to go about it. Asafo Almoa now on a rampaging run, looking left and right, and then taking contact. Christie, whose presence around the field has been excellent. Here's McKenzie again, weaving his way through. Gets a nice ball away. Dalton Papali'i, and the All Blacks are going to start the second half the way they started with the first, and it's a double for Angus Ta'ovo. Oh, hang about, Angus Ta'ovo. He's all about scoring tries under the posts at the moment rather than scrummaging. It wasn't an absolute complete science from the All Blacks. It was a bit messy. It bumbled around on the ground a bit. Kicks there. McKenzie scoops it up. But then the footwork for McKenzie, the offload short to Papali. Oh, McKenzie taking it on the 22, makes it to the 30. Oh. And a nice one out the back to George Bridge. Seen a lot of the action going the other way, the way of... Will Jordan in this game, George Bridge. Moonga holding it, standing. And ready to deliver was Hoskins Satutu. Moonga again dancing, breaking through. Richie Moonga, dazzling footwork. Ball away to McKenzie. Papali'i. And not even the desperate Augsburger can stop him going in for the try. And the All Blacks into the 70s. A little bit of razzle-dazzle early on from Damien McKenzie. Bit of showmanship as he distributed the ball out wide, but then as they brought it across, it's just equally as impressive when Richie Moonga decides to show you some footwork. It's not only about the footwork, it's about the hips. Now, Augsburger, Mullen. Trying to get through and support him was Brakely lost his footing, but they get another penalty here. Straighten the side. Yeah, they've done that Play two on. or three times. Augsburger takes it quickly. Tonga Uya. They weren't back 10, the All Blacks. They go wide, almost into the corner. They've lost shorts. Have they won try? <laughs> well, Jordan was the on tackler. The line. Yep. So I can't make a decision. That's I'm fine. Sure. So we've got a grounding, so on-field decision will be a try. I believe so, yeah. We're going to check touch. This will be the shot. You will absolutely love this, as you spoke about. TJ spent a bit of time in NZ, it has Matthias. No, I don't know. There's no evidence to say it's not, though. Yeah. Towards the try. Okay, cool. 
So Ryan Matias, the man who played sevens rugby for North Harbour, scores a try against the All Blacks. That's their second. It's 73 to 12. Here he is back in the action, Matias. Running into contact and yeah, straight away the All Blacks winning a penalty. That was excellent work by Vai. Picking up the bouncing ball was Jacobson. Strong run from Tupaya, smuggles it away. Anton Lennett Brown has been on the field for about five seconds and he's already on the board. Yeah, they fought on Perinara as well. Around the Ufanga in the shadows of one of the great Maunga of New Zealand. Well, Will Jordan, good run from him. Satutu's there in support. Bowden Barrett can put the hammer down and clear out to score. Test try number 37. Never did anything wrong near the US. It was just all quality from the All Blacks. Satutu off the back. It was the offloads and the tackle and the pace of Will Jordan. The support play of Pere Nara. Everything was executed yeah, to absolute check. perfection. They actually made their tackles to a degree, the US. Good. But the All Blacks' timing and precision and support play was outstanding. Beautiful pass that draws in a defender. Will uh, Jordan also brings one in. His pace got on the outside. Offloading oh, the Luke. tackle from Sotutu. Offloading the tackle from TJ TJ Perinara. But he lifted by Lord. And they bring Jordan in from the wing. Little dummy, he's in. Again. Did I just say they can contain him? No, they can't. It was a walk-in six-man line-out. Executed beautifully. Inside ball from Dane Coles. Well, some of their strike plays from set piece have worked really well. A lot of them revolving around Jordan. This time the pass to Leonard Brown. Play on. Oh, Perinara couldn't clear it, but no, McKenzie's there, scoops it up brilliantly, pops it over the top. Dane Coles spots the try line and he's in. Well, it all threatened to go horribly wrong, but in the end, comes up trumps for Dane Coles. Oh, and like he's done all day, Damien McKenzie, he's an absolute maestro from broken play. Dane Coles, well, he's just so experienced in that zone. Didn't panic, a bit of footwork gets it done, KT. Oh, isn't it nice to see Dane Cole scoring tries on the wing? He's back. There you go, big boy. Congratulations. Perinara. Having yep. to pull down advantage. the pass was Tyrell Lomax, yep. the referee's playing advantage, advantage while the All Blacks have got their sights on it. Now McKenzie again puts the foot down, gets past oh, all. Then he's no nailed arms. by Carty. Advantage, no arms. And no arms, though, in the tackle. So it's under advantage. Bauer flings one out the back. Leonard Brown shovels it on. Coles. Kane is there. Jacobson. Whoa. Now in awe. Sprinting Pitty down the touchline. Turns it back in field. Pity Nutter is there. A hundred up for the All Blacks. How oh, they wanted it, you could tell. Right from the kickoff, the intent was to try and get to the ton. They did it with some classic skills as well they broke out on the far side Damien McKenzie as mentioned has been simply outstanding all day TJ Perenata great support play Anton Leonard Brown just good timing of passing it but a, a very strong last couple of minutes has seen the All Blacks to a resounding win over Team USA the Eagles by 104 to 14